Hi, everybody. It's six o'clock and it's time for us to start the final night of the week of our organized Tehillim army. And I say specifically organized Tehillim army because there's no such thing as the final night of Tehillim. It just means that all together officially here on Zoom and on Yidflix, Thursday is the culmination of another incredible, incredible week. So much happened just in this Zoom meeting for the whatever, 25 minutes a night that we get together, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And um, and thank you for inspiring me. And I say this a lot, but I'll say it for anyone who never heard it before, or even if you heard it before, listen one more time. Really, this is only made possible by you. The only way that um, I have the strengths Obviously, Hashem gives me the strength, but the only way that I will myself to do this every night with you is because of the unbelievable, unbelievable strength that you all really are giving me. Um, I know that over the last few weeks since we've been doing this for Israel, we have more and more people. We have parents joining. We have grandparents joining. Um, a lot of like whole neighborhoods are coming together in like one house. and it's so, so, so beautiful. And uh, thank you. Thank you again for showing that we care. We're showing that we're committed. We're showing that even if we are having a good time and enjoying our lives here, we never, ever forget what's going on for our brothers and sisters in Israel and that we're coming close to Shabbos. And when Shabbos comes, it doesn't mean that we stop davening. If anything, we have more time. We don't have school. We're home. We met with our family, with our friends, and we could use that time to storm the gates of Shemayim and Davin. Davin our kishkas out. Okay, so I have a few important announcements to make before I introduce our incredible program tonight. The first thing I want to say is that, yes, Emma Platt is here with us tonight. So everyone wave hi to Emma. She's on the call tonight, and we're going to talk about Emma in a minute. I don't want to embarrass her, but Emma, you're our hero. If you were on the call last night with us, you know why. If you weren't, I'll explain in a moment. But um, we're so happy that you're joining us for Tehillim tonight. And the, the what I want to say first is that tonight is, again, sponsored, sponsored by the Wasserman family. And they sponsored it just for the sake of um, Hashem to watch over our Chayalim. And I have another sponsor tonight who's anonymous. And they said that this is for, and I will quote what they said. They said it's for Siata Deshmaya for this continued Zoom effort. They they were very appreciative to me and to the incredible kids, the Hillam Army. And the person who sponsored said that all of you amazing kids who are joining every night and you're davening, you should all grow up to be excited about serving Hashem with Geshmak and Simcha from davening and doing mitzvot and serving Hashem. So I'm mean to that. And um, I think you guys are all on track to be just that already. So that is really beautiful. And, um, I also, okay, I'll say that afterwards. So two things. First, we are going to be lucky to have a concert from Ellie Marcus, but in incredible kids zoom, but instead of just like having like a concert, so to speak, just because it's a singer who's with us, it doesn't mean that we're just sitting here like spectators and watching and like, Oh, that's a nice song. What do we do in Incredible Kids Zoom? We get up, we dance. And if it's a slow song, maybe we put our arms around each other and we sway. And whatever it is, we have that feeling of achdos in our heart that gets us to be here. And of course, you sing. You sing. Thank you, Rosie Wagner. You sing. You sing so much. And singing is a form of tefillah. You know that. Singing is a type of davening. So when you're singing and you're thinking of the soldiers and you're thinking of Am Yisrael and you're thinking of uniting and you're getting out your instruments like the Kasowski boy over here, then you are actually davening. He's getting his whole mic set up. Um, okay, so Ellie Marcus, can you unmute yourself? Yes. Thank you for being here. We're all so excited. Who's excited? Okay, Ellie, where are you joining us from? I am in Brooklyn, New York, Crown Heights. Wow, my shtetl Crown Heights. Okay, yeah. we're so excited for this performance and this Achtos gathering. Thank you so much for being here. It's a, such a pleasure. And it's so special to be here with each and every one of you, all of the incredible kids. Joining from I don't even know where. But as you all know, the tefillahs of the children, especially the Tehillim, was very, very powerful. 
It's a very special protection for Am Yisrael. It's a spiritual protection. And I think every, every, each and every one of you that's here is a dogma, a living example of what it means to be a Yid and to be a Jew and to be a proud Jew. So if you know it, sing along, dance along, and clap along. Here we go. Sometimes it feels so small, being just one soul in a world that's moving around. Wondering if you've got a place or just taking up space that's saving it upside down. You've got a trail to blaze, you've got a path to be part of a picture, a grand, a bigger plan. So step outside yourself, think of somebody else. They're waiting for. For you to stay, because everyone's a dukma. Step up, you're a dukma. Lighting up the world by leaving a mark. There's someone to inspire and keep taking higher. Just fire them up with your spark. You're the one that is counting on. So run with it and don't walk away. You gotta be a dogma, you they'll see that dogma. Lead the way and be the change. Just living it in up to lift them up. And that's just where it starts. Yes, that kind of influence will reach your friends, spreading from the heart. Who get your message out, cause you're proud all around. They're bound to pick up on your passion, true, and they'll take action too. Cause all of you in parts, that you are a good well. Yes, we are a good well. Lighting up the world by leaving a mark. There's someone to inspire and keep taking higher. Just buy it and borrow with your spark. You're the one that is counting on. So run with it and don't walk away. You gotta be a good mind. You they'll see that good mind. Be the way and be the change. Don't be one to settle. He gave you your ability. So move it up a level. Own up to who we need you to be. It's my gift from Shomai. So stepping up to the call. We can do it together. We'll be living examples of it all. Yes, we are a Duma. Everyone's a Duma. Lighting up the world and leaving a mark. There's someone to inspire and keep taking higher. Just fire them up with a spark. With a one. Sasha's counting on. So run with it and don't walk away. You gotta be a Duma. You don't see that Duma. Be the way and be the change. All right. Thank you guys for joining along and dancing along. It's great energy. Every situation has its challenges, especially today. Ami Sorrel is faced with a very, very strong challenge. Well, that's exactly where Hashem wants us to be. There's something special for us to do here in this moment. And each of every one of you is doing the right thing by being part of this special Tehillim gathering. So this next song goes out to each and every one of you. It's called Felix Shelley. It goes like this. Aleinu lehabin shehadvarim makashim Einam einam klav klav viksholi Kol ma sheye, kol ma sheikre Batuach adi shehu ma'ale hoti Aleinu lehabin shehadvarim makashim Einam einam klav klav viksholi 
כל מה שיהיה, כל מה שיקרה, בטוח אני שהוא מעלה אותי, כל מצב החיים אני יודע, הוא החלק שלי שהוא קובע, יש סיבה לכל מה שהוא משפיע. ולכן את העולם שלי, כל מצב החיים אני יודע, הוא החלק שלי שהוא קובע, יש סיבה לכל מה שהוא משפיע, ולכן את העולם שלי. אבל לפעמים דוחים למשברים, תעצור ותחשוב ואיך לעבוד אותו. יזובב עדיין, ישים את החיים, אלוקים מראה אותי בדיוק כמו שאני. אבל לפעמים דוחים למשברים, תעצור ותחשוב ואיך לעבוד אותו. יזובב עדיין, ישים את החיים. Let's see you guys, go on some החיים אני יודע. הוא החלק שלי שהוא קובע, יש סיבה לכל מה שהוא משפיע, לנקר את העולם שלי, יום כל מצב החיים אני יודע, הוא החלק שלי שהוא קובע, יש סיבה לכל מה שהוא משפיע, לנקר את העולם שלי, כל מצב החיים אני יודע. הוא החלק שלי שהוא קובע, יש סיבה לכל מה שהוא משפיע, ונתן את העולם שלי. Somebody asked for, I see here in the, in the chat, somebody asked for Shevach. Let's do a quick, a quick Shevach. Shevach yikor paruk dulo, yikor uge dulo vechokoi, yitnu lakein melem. Amen. <laughs> All right, one more song before we turn it back. All of this special, special to him and all of these special davening of all of each and every one of you, all of the soldiers here. Or fighting the spiritual, the Ruchnizdika war. Oh, we want Mashiach, we want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach, we want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach, we want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach, Mashiach now. And we mami, we want Mashiach, we want Mashiach now. And we mami, we want Mashiach now. 
We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Moritz Siri. Wow. That was awesome. Everyone, let's see that big round of applause for Ellie Marcus. Whoa, wow. Oh, look at the look at these kids clapping. Can you see? Do that again. Do that again. Do that again. Let's go, Bar family. Give us your biggest claps. That's right. Okay. Thank you so much for giving us this private concert. Not so private, private concert. That was amazing. So, so amazing. And if you want to stay for the next segment, I think it will be very, very meaningful for us to have you on with us. And okay, so before we get to Tehillim Kufkaf Aleph, which is like the culmination of tonight, and I already see in my own house, my daughter Devora is bringing all those Tehillims. Show everyone the Tehillims, Devora. Thank you. Look how responsible my daughter Devora is. She helps the whole upstairs price house to get ready for Tehillim. Okay, and while you prepare with your Tehillim, I'm going to introduce, um, before I introduce Emma Platt, um, I'm going to share with you my screen and you can see just a piece of Emma's conversation um, today with Eitan. And just a little a tiny two seconds to explain to you what this is all about. Yesterday, um, one of my friends, her name was Leia, she called me and she said, um, she said, my father-in-law is in Israel and he just met a soldier and the soldier really wants to find a girl who wrote him a letter and her name is Emma Platt. And this girl... We don't know who she is, but she basically saved his life because when he felt like he was not going to live anymore, he remembered that he had a letter from a girl who said she's davening for him. And um, and he said, I have to stay alive. I have to make through because um, because I'm going to because give me one second. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I thought something important happened. Sorry, I was very anticlimactic. Um, so, so, um, sorry, my husband just walked into my studio and I thought something happened, but apparently he was just videoing me. Okay, interesting. Um, so continuing on my train of thought. So anyways, so Emma, we found her last night. I mean, I didn't find her. Somebody from Meaningful Minute, my friend Naomi, who works there, texted me. She said, we found her number. I said, I'm already on the Zoom. I said, you know what? Let's call her right now. All the kids here want to know what happened. So we spoke to Emma yesterday on the phone. Who was here yesterday? And we spoke to Emma. Beautiful. So we all, everybody wants to know, did Emma meet the soldier? Did the soldier get to see Emma, the girl who wrote this beautiful letter? And Emma's with us now. And I'm going to share. Emma, nod your head if I could share the video. Yeah. Okay. She's saying yes. Okay. So I'm going to share just a few minutes of it because they met for a while. And if you want to see the rest of the video, I'll put the link in the notes afterwards. Um, I'm just going to share a piece of the video with all of you. And I'm going to start from the part where Emma and, and Eitan, his name is, this soldier's name is Eitan, so Eitan and Emma meet. So can you see the words on the screen that say, with the help of many, many people, Emma meets Eitan? Thumbs up if you could see that. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to play it for you. And I hope it inspires you. Emma, when I saw this, I could not stop crying. And I know that everyone here does. Everyone here probably believes that because it doesn't take a lot for me to cry. But this kind of crying, I'll tell you before I show it to you why I cried. I cried because when you see the happiness on Eitan the soldier's face, there is nothing in the entire world that would make him more happy than to meet the girl who wrote him a letter. And that one action that Emma did really, really, really went such a long way. So here it is. Hey. Hi. Wow. Eitan. Hi, Eitan. Eitan, meet Emma. <laughs> Eitan, we you? did the impossible. There's nothing impossible for you. I understand it, I understand it now. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was from Hashem that we came to visit you. 
The whole thing was by Sheraton from Hashem. Amazing, 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 amazing. So okay, can, don't, can don't I talk meet? To us. We're going to just sit in the background. Emma, yes, did you talk to, to Emma? Go. Are you Emma? Yeah. Emma, how are you? I'm, so, I'm great. How are you? Thank you very much, Emma. It, it means a lot to see you now and, and talk to you now. Thank you. Your letter just, it's not good. I, I, I trying to find your letter because it was on my combat vest and it's... Well, I'm so happy my letter met something. It met, it, 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 you know, it, it, it means a lot to me. I took your letter and, and folded it and two hours later I got injured. And I thought to myself that if I will manage to go out and, and, and survive this day, I'm going to find Emma Platt. And thanks to this wonderful, amazing person here, Avi and then, and the rest and David and everybody. We just did it. I, 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 next time you should write your email or something or, or, or your mommy and dad's <laughs> email. So it will be much easier to, to find you. <laughs> I'm I will in Israel on October 7th and it's, it's it looked very scary so yeah you're doing a very great job Emma tell me how, how old are you what, what do you do what, what great almost 11 years old amazing and where do you live I live in Florida Miami or, or somewhere else I live in Hollywood Florida Hollywood, Florida. Yeah. You know, maybe now that you are, I can remember, I think it, th there was a, a, a stack of letters and some of them was written Hollywood, Florida, but you didn't write any, any personal uh, details about you. And I thought to myself, this one is going to be difficult, but amazing oh. that a lot of Siata Dishmaya now that I find you. Ooh. A lot. Well, I'm going to continue to dive in for you and Israel and Israel's success. And... Emma, you can, you can be sure that uh, also it was very frightening being here at uh, October 7th. Oh. Me oh. and my friends and, and, and all, all, all the other soldiers. We are making it better now, and we are just making sure that uh, it will never happen again. And in a couple of months, I invite you to come here to Israel. Do you have family here? Yes, I have my grandparents in Renana. Yeah, so my brother, he, I think, is uh, in the same kehila of uh, in, in the Bet Knesset of, of your grandmother. Somehow I got it, somehow. <laughs> And she wanted wow. to visit me. And the uh, next time you are in Israel, I, I'll be more than happy to to meet you and your uh, and your family. Yes, I will come. And it will be much safer here now, thanks to my friends and 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 all the the soldiers that are fighting like, like they fight. Emma, you 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 did something to me this day. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're a beautiful little girl and you'll grow up and, and, and you'll build your family. Thank you. You're doing such a good job and yeah. Amazing. And for that you fell Where's your parents? Emma, can, can I, can I, Eitan I... wants to meet your parents. Exactly. Where are your parents? If you want to see her parents, you're going to have to watch the whole video. <laughs> I'm sorry to leave you hanging like that, but it's a long video. And I'm telling you, Emma, I'm going to bring on Emma. Where's Emma? Emma, can you unmute yourself? Hi. Hi, Emma. It's so good to meet you in person. How are you? Great. Are you like, are people making you crazy today? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it might be our fault, <laughs> um, but I it will pass. But I think that at least, you know, people's names 
when they're known for this kind of thing, I think we'll always just remember Emma Platt as being a girl that was a shining example for so many, so many people, kids and adults. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what do your friends tell you in school today? Like, okay. what? Today. Oh, you didn't go to school. I forgot. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> you didn't have school. Okay. So you didn't have to deal with that yet, but here we all are. And Emma, I want to introduce you to somebody. Okay. Hold on. And I'll tell you why in a second. I'm going to add them to the spotlight. Talia and Kayla, could you unmute yourself? Okay. So before you say anything, um, Emma, you're probably like wondering who these people are. So did you follow what happened? So in the video, you saw there was a man, his name was Avi. Yeah. You remember seeing that in the video? So he was the man, there was a bunch of people, but he was the man who sent me the video of Eitan. Uh -huh. And these are his granddaughters. Oh, hi. <laughs> so this, is, this is Talia. Well, tell her your names. What are your names? Talia, Kayla. And Talia and Kayla, these beautiful girls live here in Baltimore, like kind of near me. And, um, and their mom is the one who called me and said, we have to find Emma, Emma, we have to find Emma Platt. So once we found you, they were like the most excited. So their mother started the search for Emma Platt, their grandfather and their mother. And here we are just 24 hours later. So it's just so beautiful to, you know, have all, all different, like Jewish kids were all connected, like one, one heart, right? Ty and Kayla, do you want to say anything to Emma? No. Okay. Just hi. <laughs> um, Talia and Kayla, are you going to write letters now to soldiers? Yeah. Yeah. They already wrote letters to soldiers, Emma. These girls, at least for sure, Talia, Talia sent me a letter. She wrote, come on soldiers. You could do it. Put a little power to it. Go. So go army, go. Right. That was like, that was like on October 8th, like a long time ago. And who knows, hopefully a soldier got that letter and is also, right? Emma, do you want to say anything to them? Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> what do you want to say to the whole world? I keep writing letters. Um, um, keep writing letters and keep dominating for uh, the soldiers and yeah beautiful beautiful that's all we have to say it's so awesome having you on and I'm um, so happy you could be here to see the Helen with us now okay bye okay hang in there um okay now I'm gonna ask everyone to take out their safer to Helim their safer to Helim and I'm going to look for those who have their tehillims out. We're going to spotlight a few. Today, we are going to be saying Parak Kuf Chaf Aleph. So open up in the meantime. If you have a bookmark, leave it in the place for Kuf Chaf Aleph. And um, everyone take out your tehillim. And I'm looking around to see who's ready. Okay. Oh, it's my cousin Yitz. You finally got your Tehillim spotlighted. Oh my gosh, Wasabi, I found you. It's so pretty. I love it. Thank you for being here. Okay, now let's look for, um, ooh, look at you already. Is that you? Oh, there you are. Thank you for being here with your Tehillim. Okay, we're looking for everybody to get open to page Kufchaf Aleph. We're going to be starting with Shalom Landa in just a minute. Shalom, Landa, in just a minute. And hello, kids. Hi, do you have your Tehillim? You got it somewhere? <laughs> Thank you for being here. And I like your dog or your cat, whatever that was. Um, okay, fine. We'll do one more. One more. We're going to do you, Goldman family. Oh, hello. Thank you for having your Tehillim ready. Okay, now we're going to find the Landas. And before we start, I'm just going to, here we go, going to add you. Hi, we're Shalom. Shalom, you there? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, awesome. We're going to start in just a second. I'm also opening up the Parakov Chafale. Yeah. But yeah. before we start, I'm just going to point out one thing that I want everyone to think about. Okay, guys? Chafale is not such a long parak. It's just um, like eight pesukim. 
But when we get up to these words, I want you to have extra, extra kavana, okay? When we get up to the words that say all the way at the end, so I know it's hard to remember, but it's an eight second. It says at the very end, Hashem Yishmar Tzischa Uvoecha Me'ata Ve'ad Olam. That means that Hashem is going to watch us as you leave and as you come. So Shalom, what do you think that means? As you leave and as you come, like coming and leaving where? Eretz Yisrael. Right. So I, it's so, it's so interesting. I, whenever I was seeing this, this parak, I was thinking, and it's probably what the shot is. Like I was thinking that it probably means like, let's say when soldiers go to war and when they come back from war, Hashem should watch over them, right? Hashem should watch them when they go to war and when they come back from war. But here's something else I want you to think about. And I just learned this today. Okay. And all the kids you're listening, nod your head if you're listening. Okay, good. Good. Awesome. Aaron kids. Um, so if you're listening, yeah, you, exactly, I see you. <laughs> um, so I want you to think about it when you say that, that it's talking about a few things. It could also mean Hashem is watching as you leave Galus and as you enter Geula. So we're going to dive in that Hashem lets us leave this Pashtunkana Galus where we're stuck and we arrive with Mashiach. That's our coming and going. That's the coming and going I want you to dive in for when we say Hashem is going to watch over us and take us out of here and bring us into the Geula. All right, guys, you ready? Who's ready for Geula? Okay, let's say that's with extra kavana today. Shalom, take it away. Or say pas. <laughs> Shir Lama Alos Asa in I El Hahare me Ayin Yavo Azri. Azri me Madonai Osa Shamayim Varats. Azri me im Adonai Osa Shamayim Varats. Al Yutain Lamot Raglacha Al Yanum Shom Racha. Al Yutain Lamot Raglacha Al Yanum Shom Racha. Hine Lo Yanum Velo Yishan Shomer Yisrael. Hine lo yanum velo yishan shomer Yisrael. Adonai shomracha, Adonai tzolcha al yad yiminacha. Adonai shomracha, Adonai tzolcha al yad yiminacha. Yomam Hashem asho yakaka v'yareach balayla. Yomam Hashem asho yakaka v'yareach balayla. Adonai yishmaracha miko ra yishmar asnachshacha. Adonai Yishmarcha Mikal Ra Yishmar Asnaf Shacha. And here it goes, the last Pasuk. Adonai Yishmar Tzitzcha Vecha Me'ata V'yad Olam. Adonai Yishmar Tzitzcha Uboecha Me'ata V'yad Olam. Beautiful, Shalom. Thank you so much. Shalom, how old are you now? Eight. Eight years old. You did such a beautiful job reading that to Helen. That was very, very meaningful. I'm so happy you came on. Okay. You. Um, you're so welcome. Okay. I'm going to say the Misha Beirach, and then I'm going to tell you who the winner of the raffle is. In the Misha Beirach, we dive in for all of the Chayalim, our soldiers who are entering dangerous missions, just similar to Eitan. So think about Eitan getting a Rafua Shalema. Think about all of, um, all of our soldiers who are need our tefillahs and the ones the ones who are fighting the ones who unfortunately have to get better now because they got hurt and all of the people that need to be united with their families again Misha Beach Abosinu Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov who yevarech as a chayalim haomdem al mishmar artinu va'ari alohinu yitena dunai asayvinu hakamim alinu negafim lefnehem hakadosh baruch hu yadbar soninu tachtehem v'yatrim v'kasar geshua uva'ataras nitzachon v'kuyam v'ham akasav ki adonai alohicham Okay, so before I tell you who the random winner of tonight's um, special book, Living Amuna, that was uh, donated by the Farhi family is going to, I just want to say that today we have a new episode of Incredible Kids podcast that came out. Raise your hand if you listened to it already. Because I was able to tell that so many people already listened to it. If you didn't listen yet, like my kids don't have school today and tomorrow for Thanksgiving. So it's a really good time to catch up on any episodes you missed. This episode was amazing. The first interview on it is with Noam Skase. Remember Noam? Nod your head if you listened to Noam the other day. Remember he came onto the Zoom, the Rosenstocks, remember? 
Um, so, so Noam is the first one. And there are five incredible kids who talk about how important it is to have Achtas and how proud we are to be a Jew. And it is such an amazing episode to listen to, if I may say so myself. Um, so if you don't know how to listen to it, check out incrediblekids.org. And how do you spell incredible? What do you need to know? When you're spelling incredible, what do you need to know? Let's see if you guys remember. Ruben, Ruben family is going to tell us. When you're trying to find incrediblekids.org, what do you have to know? Okay. How do you spell incredible? With a? Okay. <laughs> With a K, thank you. Okay. Um, anyway, so incrediblekids.org, go check it out. And the winner tonight is, let's see if they're still on the call because I picked them much earlier in the program. And their name is the Shook family. Woo okay, Shook family, well-deserved. You guys were dancing away and look at them with their Tehillim. See, they're not goofing around here. They're not changing their background, right? You guys are literally sitting there singing, dancing, and saying Tehillim. You guys are a real role model for all of us. And everybody else, I always tell you on Thursday night, something you could look forward to for next week. And lucky us, because next week we have an entire week of, I thank you Hashem that I was able to secure such beautiful um, like presentations for you for next week. And next week, we have a lot of special people coming. One of them is Moshe Storch. Anybody here know Moshe Storch from Thank You Hashem? He sings Geschmack to be a Yid. You know him? He's, He's coming. Right, that song. <laughs> and the other person I'll tell you. Okay, should I tell you who's coming? Yeah. Okay, the schnitzel guys. Anybody here know the schnitzel guys? The Hermans are excited. Okay, amazing. So, Emirates Hashem, everyone, I have a beautiful Shabbos. And if you say to Hillem over Shabbos, think about our Chayalim. Think about our, all of the Jews around the world. And I can't wait to see you next week on the Tehillim Army Sunday night. I got this. Oh, yeah, I'll tell them later. Bye.